Good morning, everybody. Oh gosh, I just <laughs> dipped some of my tea. Let me clean that up in a sec. It's Thursday today, and I thought I'd pick up my camera and start a new vlog. Also, I've got a new bracky today, which I've started getting into all of a sudden, which I need to actually eat quickly or it's going to go soggy. Who else hates soggy, well, it's not cereal, it's muesli, but... So I feel like some people love soggy, it's like with Weetabix. Soggy Weetabix is my least favourite thing in the world, but some people eat it that way. Are you a soggy cereal eater or are you a non-soggy cereal eater? Because I'm a non. Yes, it's Thursday today and I've gotten up and I'm going to do something very nice to start my day, which is one of my favourite things to do on a Thursday. I don't always get able to watch this first thing in the morning, but I said today I was going to do it. I saved myself 40 minutes in the morn to watch my breakfast, to watch my breakfast, to eat my breakfast and watch the new episode of Riverdale. <laughs> Who else loves Riverdale? Is my absolute favourite thing in the world. My absolute favourite programme in the absolute world and that's, that's a big statement but it is. In the UK it goes on to Netflix first thing in the morning on a Thursday so that's what we're doing this morning and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I'm thinking. After it's, it, after it's been on, I think. Last week was such a good episode. I'm not gonna talk about this too much because I do realize that people probably have never seen it and none of this conversation is gonna make much sense. But if you watch, and I know lots of you do watch because you always say to me, Jughead, I just can't deal with them playing with Jughead and then what, the, what happened in the last episode of what they showed about Jughead. Also, I have actually woken up with a bit of a, a bit of a cold and a sore throat, so sorry if you can hear that. I don't know why. I also feel really weird again vlogging by myself because the last vlog, I spent the whole vlog vlogging with people. And do you know what's funny actually? I was thinking, I, I'm so happy that I've got to a point where I can do that because as weird as it sounds, for a very long time, I find it really embarrassing to vlog with people because I don't know, I don't know what it is. I think it's just talking to a camera is a bit of an alien thing. And then bringing people to do that with you, I used to just find really scary and embarrassing, but I'm fine now. <laughs> and I loved it, I absolutely loved that vlog. So if you missed the last vlog, make sure you go watch it because I th I know I say this all the time but it has trumped to my top favourite vlog I've ever created so make sure you go watch it because it is funny. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to watch this and eat my, eat my muesli. This is Alpen muesli and I love it although it's probably soggy and I've got a cup of tea in my favourite mug from Next. But I'll see you on the other side. Hopefully Jughead's alright. Jughead is Cole Sprouse by the way and he is the greatest man in the actor's world. <laughs> Look who decided to join us. <laughs> look at her mouth, it's so floppy. <laughs> Blue Belle, you look, <laughs> you look so funny. She's got a floppy lip. Guess what I'm watching? I can see what you're watching. <laughs> it's my favourite, he hates it. You love it too, don't you, Bab? This ending is stupid. Archie Andrews, Betty Cooper, and Veronica Lodge, you're under arrest for the cold-blooded murder of my son, Jughead Jones. This doesn't make any sense, so it's not a spoiler, don't worry. Well, that was a bit of a weird... Rubbish. Ooh, a bit close. Rubbish. It's not all rubbish. They keep teasing that Jughead's died, but he hasn't. It's the worst thing on Netflix. Excuse me? You heard. <laughs> Peeking over the sofa. It's the worst thing. It's the best thing on Netflix. You said yourself that it's not even that bad. It's a pile of shit. No, I didn't. I've never said that. I've never watched it, to be fair, so I can't comment. Well then, shut it's your pie hole. It's not terrible. Anyway, that was a bit of a weird episode. The ending to that didn't make any sense, so it's not a spoiler. If you watch Riverdale and you haven't seen that, don't worry, that wasn't a spoiler. And I, I want to make sure I don't spoil anything. That was just like a really random bit on the end, which I don't, I think is just a lie, basically. It's all gonna, they just keep trying to tease that Jughead's dead. But anyway, I'm not gonna go on about this too much. Cole Sprouse is the best. Niall's jealous of Cole Sprouse, aren't you? No, what That's... would I be jealous of him about? Because he's great. No, he's not. <laughs> that was such a jealous boyfriend moment. He's a shit actor and he acts in a shit thing. Well, who's jealous over here of Jughead Jones? <laughs> Niall went dressed as Jughead for Halloween. Yeah, I tried to get me and Niall to be Jughead and Betty for Halloween, but he wouldn't do it. 
because like what would you dress up as you put a hat on like no no because then you do a dead version trust me everybody was saying on instagram would be good but yeah, anyway, that was that was episode five of season four, which is the latest one. Make sure you go watch that. And I haven't spoiled it, I promise. I feel like I really need to make sure you know that because I would hate to be spoiled on my favourite series. Um, but if you haven't seen it, you should watch it. It'll make you love Cole Sprouse. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was like perfect timing for a, a throat clear. <clears throat> right, I'm currently searching through the Christmas music on the website that I use for my YouTube videos because, because, I'm trying to pick something for my Vlogmas intro. I'm having a little bit of a dilemma with my Vlogmas, with my Vlogmas intro because I basically had somebody who was going to do it who agreed in September and he very last minute has said he can't now, which is frustrating, but it's fine because I put out yesterday that I was looking for someone else and quite a few people got back to me, so fingers crossed we find one. We've got three and a half weeks till we need the vlog for Citro ready and I really want a new one because the one that I've been using for the past two years is old now, so it'll be like three years old. I can't believe it's my third vlogmas. That is cray, but Basically, I'm looking for some music for it because I want it to be I want it to be a bit different from my old ones My old one was very simple, but we're thinking like cartoon animation Fingers crossed. I don't know if it'll happen. But fingers crossed. Oh my god I need to play you the start of this song because it sounds like the tide is high by atomic kitten Doesn't it? Tide is high but I'm whole It's not. It's called on Christmas Eve Oh, this is cool. No, no, not quite it. I need something a bit bold. No, too sad. We need something a bit happy, don't we? This is cute. Oh, yeah. This is cute. Oh, my God, I love this. Yeah, it's bringing me tears, bringing tears to my eyes. I'm like, I found my Vlogmas intro song. I love this. Oh, this one is cute too. I can't decide. I feel like we'll just have to wait and see which one I pick because I still don't know. But I feel like I can imagine this. Just imagine cartoony me and Niall and Bluebell and Poppy. That's all I'm going to say. And then, yeah, just imagine it with this, okay? Oh, it's so cute. And then it goes Vlogmas. Yay! You come to join us. Oh, look at those eyebrows. Oh my gosh, you've got big eyebrows like Dad, haven't you? So, there was something else I wanted to chat to you about. A big something. So, um, yeah, we're going to do that now. I'm a bit nervous to talk to you about it, and I don't know why, because I just get nervous when I have big old news to tell. Oh, oh. Oh, did that turn on? Yeah, we've got Life is Beautiful on. Basically, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know about this. If you don't, then you won't. I have some very exciting news, and I have all of you to thank for that I can do it. If you've been following me on here and Instagram, you'll know that about a month ago, I launched a collection within The Style. So, In The Style is a clothing brand online, which I absolutely love. You'll know if you know me, I've been wearing their stuff for ages. And I created my own range of them, which was literally a dream come true. It was the best thing and I had complete creative control and if you saw the video you'll know all this I'm not going to go too into it but basically you don't just put your name on the items I completely designed it with their design team which was like a dream it was so much fun and yeah I just wanted to create a collection of clothes where at least something in it would make you feel good and make you feel confident and make you feel just fabulous so yeah and it was such a success last time Thanks to you guys, honestly, the support was literally unreal. Like, I, I literally sound so nasal today, don't I? People always call me nasal on YouTube anyway, so I'm actually got a cold today. It was literally amazing. Like, the, it was just an amazing turnout, and it's basically all sold out before it even launched. So we did an early access launch the day before official launch through a secret link on my Instagram. And you guys almost basically sold it out before it even launched. So that was crazy. And we just didn't expect it, so it wasn't like in the style purposely didn't get much stock or anything because I know lots of people think that's the case in those sort of situations but it was nothing like that, we just had no idea 
how much you guys were gonna you know love it so they have very kindly let me create a new collection but basically this one is called a relaunch so basically launching a lot of the same shapes but in new colors and prints we have a few new styles too and we are restocking most of the last collection i think i think uh, definitely the best sellers that sold out really quick so I'm so excited, I can't believe I could tell you now. Thank you Tin The Style for letting me do this again, it's just an absolute dream. I'm not going to blab on much longer, I'm going to show you some of the range. And tomorrow actually me and Niall are shooting the collection. So Niall shot the last collection because I felt like it was the most me, I wanted the whole thing to just be really me and natural and just... I don't know, I just wanted to feel comfortable because it was such a big thing for me to do. I just wanted it to be natural. So we're doing that tomorrow and I think I'm going to bring you to it a little bit too. But first let's talk about the range. But I, I'm not going to try everything on right now. I'm going to just show you some bits off. You'll see bits tomorrow and I, maybe I'll show you a few bits. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, so these are our two new prints and I love them so much. Look, literally, look at this material. It's so gorge. It's just so like luxurious. Look at that rose. <laughs> we wanted to go with a bit more of an autumnal feel with this collection too so it's much more kind of wintry not that the other one wasn't but it's just quite more obviously the color palette and stuff is a lot more autumn and i think these prints are even more autumn than the, than the last i can't speak today <laughs> we'll probably recognize the shapes if you saw the last collection so this is the cowl neck body this is the worst way to show you this so this is the cowl neck body if you remember it as you guys loved it so we've done this in quite a lot of different colors and patterns so we've got this pattern in it and this pattern and then two satin ones so if you remember the satin in the last range which was gold I need to iron these though before I shoot them tomorrow but we've got a navy satin cowl neck this time and in the pink how nice is this pink I think it's so pretty and one thing I really wanted to add in this collection was scrunchies and headbands you guys know how much I love headbands I'm so excited that we could do headbands too so if you saw my last vlog I wore this on the weekend I absolutely love it I did have an outfit change but um that was just because I wanted to do my weird dancing and this dress is a mini so if I lifted my legs up there'd be lots to see so we decided to outfit change at like 11 p.m that night and also we are now bringing i've just heard today that we are now bringing do you remember the navy leopard we're bringing that a headband and a scrunchie as well so i'm so excited i know how many of you liked the leopard print dress and top the top was the biggest seller i think the top in this style in the navy leopard this is the cowl neck mini though that i wore on the weekend then we have it in full length actually in this print which is so cool and then if you remember the leopard print, oh god, this is the worst way for me to do this. Why have I decided to do this like this? So this is this body, if you remember it came in leopard print last time. It's so lovely, it's got this backless bit and then it ties up at the top at the back. I flip in, love it. We do have some new bits as well. So these are new, which I think are so freaking cute. With jeans or with trackies, you could like dress them up. No, I mean you couldn't dress them up, up, but... You can wear them like with jeans and it's like a casual day outfit. I love this pink as well. Then we've got it in a more neutral tone as well. And then if you remember the jumpers, so these guys, I know loads of you love this. So we've got two new colours in that. Then going on to the jeans. So if you guys remember the jeans, we aren't relaunching all the jeans. We're just relaunching the best seller ones, which were the slim fit mum jeans. Now we have completely like revamped and reworked these jeans because if you bought these, I did tell everybody to size down in them because they were quite big. So we've completely revamped them so that they fit perfectly now in your normal size. And they are honestly the best jeans that, I, I mean, I would say that, I'm being biased because I created them. <laughs> but they are the best. And we now have a slash knee in one as well, which I think is so cool. But I'll show you these on now actually because I think it will be better. I'll get them on in a sec. Let me just show you a few more things. We have this new thing, which is so cool. I love it. And it's not anything I've really ever seen before, like a skirt in knit. But it's so nice. If you saw my post on Instagram, I'll pop up the picture as well. I posted a picture in it and it's so comfortable. Love the cut on the neck on this jumper. It's gorgeous. And then we also have it in a neutral colour too, this one. 
And then what else is new? Oh, I've got something on actually. So I've got one of my sweaters on. So this is a big old sweater, except to make it a bit unique, we have a balloon sleeve. Can you see that? Not too big, but just a little bit. I've always wanted a sweater. I love sweaters so much just to like throw on. I'm actually gonna go to the gym in it today, although it's not really created for the gym. You can wear it to the gym. I wanted to create one that had these sleeves because I've never seen it before and I love it. This one says you are my sunshine, which I think is just so cute. I loved being able to pick slogans to put on things. And then the other one, which you may have seen me wear on my Halloween vlog actually, is this little guy. So we've got a pink one that says be kind and we've got the balloon sleeve again and they are super fluffy inside. Let me show you, look at that softness. So soft and this one is too, so I'm gonna get a bit Gonna get a bit hot in the gym, but we'll be all right. And also we have some new slogan tees, which I do need to iron. I shouldn't have left them folded. So one says there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy, which I just think is the best. It's so true. And then we have it's the little things in life, because I love all the little things like, and it starts getting steamy when you breathe outside, when the leaves fall, all the little things I just love. And then like cold water in the tap in the colder months. It's all about the little things. And we also do have these backless knitted tops, which actually you can wear either way. If you remember them, we had like a dark pink and a cream last time. So we've got it in pale pink and we've got it in this lovely navy cover color as well, like the cohort. So this is this is, was inspired by the bodysuit from the last collection, which had, you know, the asymmetric one? Where is it? Where is she? There she is, this one. So we wanted to take this colour because it's so flattering. Um, oh, get up, love. Oh, God's sake, we'll have to do that in a sec. This colour is just super flattering because it has like a tinge. I mean, this is a little bit different, obviously, because it's knitwear, but it has, I don't know what it is. It, this one is more grey than this, but it do, does have like a faint grey, I don't know. It's not navy, it's like blue and grey mixed, kind of. <laughs> but it's just really flattering, I think, on on the skin. So we've done that colour in this as well. And then we've got lots of the satin back as well. So if you remember these dresses, we've done it in a pink. And we've got it in this colour, which is gorgeous as well, if you like neutrals. I will show you everything properly at some point. There's just so much to run through. Right, I've also popped on this little top, which I was talking about to give you a quick show. Because I think it is just super cute. It's so comfy as well. But these are the jeans, and I love them. They're not... To be honest, they're not really mum jeans. They're more like a just a fitted jean, really. <laughs> I don't know why we call them slim fit mum jeans, because mum jeans aren't really slim fit, are they? But basically, I wanted to create jeans which were really fitted, but really stretchy. So these have got the super stretch in, but have the belt loopholes, so they don't look like Joni jeans, because I find Joni jeans a little bit unflattering now. We worked so hard to revamp these to get the fitting more true to size, because the last ones weren't really. And we have gone for a bit more of a fitted fit in them now but I just think they are gorge. What do we think? They're also a little bit longer than they were before because they were a little bit short. I know lots of people who were taller didn't want to get them because they were worried that they were gonna be too tall. I'm 5'5", five five and if you can see, they're a lot longer now. But I just love them, they're so comfortable. They're literally the most comfortable jeans I've ever put on. I know I'm biased <laughs> because I made them. Well, I didn't make them, I designed them. But I just think they're so lovely. And we're also going to have these in a pale grey, which I don't actually have yet. But I flipping love them. And these ones are the ones with the slash. Oh, no, they're not. <laughs> they're definitely not got a slash. Just realised I completely forgot to show you this one. So this is the jumper, which was in a beigey colour and a dark pink last time. And we're also having it in the light pink, which I did show you, but I didn't show you this white one. How lovely is this? So you guys were saying how nice the feel of this jumper is. It's not like itchy knitwear. It's really soft and I just love the arm. I think it's so flattering. I very quickly just wanted to show you this dress because I realized I actually didn't have this shape in the last collection. So this is, we're only having it in this print, but how lovely is this? I feel like the light's ruining my vibe right now. Let me see if I turn the mirror a little bit more this way. Oh gosh, now you can see the mess behind me. <laughs> But look at this. The material is just so lovely. We've got a little slit at the back there, so there's movement for the legs, which we always need if we dance like me. <laughs> I just love it. I think it... Th Do you know what? Loads of you guys were saying in your reviews and in your feedback in stories and stuff how this 
this dress is like the navy one but in but in longer obviously we got the slit at the back and there's something about that they do it's like i was talking to in the style about it is they create a waist <laughs> and i don't know how they do it because it's not like super stretchy but it like goes in in the right places and loads of you guys were saying that too but yeah i mean i think it's just good it's just such a good going out dress in the autumn in the winter time it's just the right colors and actually there is one other thing we are relaunching which i forgot about because it was hidden but if you remember the midi skirt with the slit we're now bringing it back in the color that we had in the top so it's like a cream satin well it's not really cream yeah would you call that cream ivory i think that's the word but yeah we had this in navy and in leopard print last time and you guys seem to love these too because they just look really nice with like big jumpers and boots or you can dress it up so it's just a really good piece to be quite like what's the word I want <laughs> quite transitional no that's not the word I want but you know what I mean oh look at this how nice is this with this imagine a little scrunchy get your jumper on we did create this range so that you could mix and match things if you do grab like something from I don't know if you grab a oh the slogan tees would look really nice with that skirt too actually wouldn't they anyway I feel like that was the worst way of showing you that collection I'm really sorry you will see it all tomorrow as we're shooting it on we are launching on Friday the 15th we are officially launching at 12 p.m. but if you do want to go to the early access launch which is usually usually the day before but they're not actually given specifics yet then I will leave the link so you can sign up to get early access because this time when you click on the link you enter your email address and they'll basically email you the early access link and that's the only way you'll be able to get to early access so if you do want to grab anything make sure you do that and I just want to say thank you so much if you did support the last launch because I literally wouldn't be able to do this without you and it's just so much fun to do and it's just you know it's like a dream thing for a girl to do really isn't it but yes if you have any questions though about anything please let me know and I will get back to you because this video is going up quite a lot before launch so we are we have time this time because last time I remember it was just such a mess with getting the haul up and etc. Anyway, this vlog was not supposed to be just on this so I just wanted to show you it because we announced last night. I wanted to announce with you guys too. But yes. Anyway, I'm going to head to the gym. I am doing legs today. Shall I chat to you about that in the car? Yeah, I'll talk to you in the car. Bluebell, what are you having for lunch today? Daddy's making you chicken and rice. <laughs> Oh no, you got to wait for a bit first. He's going to boil it. Are you going to boil it? Yeah. <laughs> boil chicken is the most disgusting thing. So basically, Blue's run out of her food and it's not arriving until tomorrow. Amazon Prime let us down, Bluebell. So you're having chicken and rice today, hun? You'll enjoy that, won't you? Want some chicken and rice? Oh my gosh, chicken and rice. You're a bit of peri peri. Happy Thursday to Bluebell. Not <laughs> Very, very, we can give a bum a bloody party. Come in, go chase me. Oh no! <laughs> She's barking at me because I'm chasing her around the island. Jealous of my lunch. It looks a bit of a weird colour here. Right, I've decided I'm going to eat before I go to the gym now because I was getting a bit hungry. So I've made myself three scrambled eggs with a bagel, an onion and chive one as well, and I've popped some Philadelphia and some salmon on it. Do you know what, I feel like this is my most favorite thing ever now. That's our Christmas morning tradition, isn't it? And Prosecco. Yeah, but I'm not having Prosecco right now. <laughs> Can't wait to do that this Christmas. That's, yeah. that's, that, that's the best part of Christmas, that is. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna head to the gym. Me and Bluebell have just been playing, haven't we, Blue? She's still waiting for a chicken and rice, the good little head. Christmas advert! Yay! Yeah, it is! There's all, basically, all the adverts now are Christmas themed. This is, I just love watching TV this time of year. Listen to the song in the background. Oh, it stopped. Oh, look, Niall, we need to, we need to sort out our Christmas dinner. We've got to order a turkey hen. Where are we going to order one from? Never done that before in our life. <laughs> Shut up, you idiot. Love, love, love. It's off love, actually. Bloody heck. I say I love winter, but it's freaking cold at the moment. <laughs> I'm currently in the car and I have just... I don't know why I've never thought to do this, 
Oh my God, it is absolutely cold. Do you know what's so annoying about having a really old car? Heating sucks, air con sucks. <laughs> There's literally like, I can't even get Christmas radio station in my car, which is making me feel, feel sad for the festive period. I, I'm absolutely cold. <laughs> I don't know why I've never thought of this though, but I've just put on the Love Actually soundtrack on Spotify because I just love it. And I watched Love Actually in the bath the other day for the first time this year, and it's like my favorite Christmas film ever. Is it anyone else's? Because I just think it is the best. Anyway, I'm heading to the gym. I'm cold and I need to get moving because it's cold. But I just wanted to basically explain what I'm gonna do today at the gym because I've started doing a session which I'm really enjoying. I am actually aching quite a lot today, so I'm probably not gonna go too heavy because I don't wanna pull my adductors in between my legs. <laughs> it's not fun. And they're really achy, so I'm basically just not gonna go too heavy, but also I wanna be quite quick. I find that I do this session during the winter period, and I don't know why. You will probably recognize it if you've watched my videos for a while, but it's all on the Smith machine, it's legs, and I love it, literally it makes me ache so much. In the winter I tend to not be quite as motivated because it's cold and it gets dark and I just wanna get snuggly at home. So I just really like doing this session, so you'll see it, but I just wanted to let you know that's what I'm doing. The other thing I just wanted to quickly say actually, I was just thinking about wanting to do a haul on that collection. The reason why I decided not to, I remember now, was because everything is basically the same except the few new pieces, so I, thought there's not actually that much to say because the sizing is exactly the same so if you want to go and see that other video on the previous collection it's just different colors and prints so I'll link that in the description box because I explain a lot in detail I will do a bit more you'll see everything tomorrow I'll explain a little bit more in the next vlog and I think I'm gonna do a haul on my Instagram stories but yeah sizing's the same and it's all very true to size to be honest especially now the jeans are on tip top form so I'm a UK size 6 to 8 so I'm kind of in between but I wear a 6 in everything in the range except an 8 in the jeans and I'm always an 8 in jeans so the jeans are very true to size now too anyway I've realized that I've blabbed so much today and I wanted to film tomorrow too in this vlog so I'm gonna love you and leave you see you at the gym and then catch up with you a bit later but try not to blab too much in crime this afternoon we're gonna go for a walk in a bit in the autumn sun and then we're gonna finish some work and we've got some cleaners round it's fantastic services are back aren't they fantastic I wish Bluebell could high five but she can't <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking in this tone of voice but I will catch up with you guys this evening I think because I just did some editing and my vlog's already nearly half an hour long. We haven't even started day two. Good evening, everybody. It's now quite a lot later and I'm basically just running myself a bath. So I wanted to show you. And I thought I'd show you actually what I'm gonna do with my hair because 
what I'm going to do with it. What I'm going to put in it, that's what I mean. Because <laughs> it very much needs a wash and um, I want it to be all nice for the shoot tomorrow. And it's been quite a few days since I washed it, to be honest. I'm trying to leave more days in. But ooh, my shower looks freaking fabulous. Oh my gosh. So we've actually just had a fantastic services here to do a clean for us, which is so kind of them. So if you don't know, they were the people that did our end of tenancy clean when we left our old flat. And then they helped us move because they do removals as well. They're just great. They're absolutely fabulous. So if you're looking for like cleaning or they even do gardening which I'm going to look into in the summer and moving everything definitely recommend but look at my shower literally when we moved in there wasn't like a professional clean on the house I don't know if it's different rules for when you buy compared to when you rent because when you rent you have to do a deep deep clean and this shower was not looking its finest so there hasn't been since we moved so I'm so happy it looks so nice there's just so many like watermarks Oh, oh, they are bloody fabulous, aren't they? Anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> what I'm going to put on my hair today, I'm going... Oh, it smells very strongly of cleaning stuff in there. I'm going to use... My bath is so loud, I always forget this. You can't really chat next to a bath. So I'm going to use my Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. So I kind of mix between these and my Kevin Murphy ones. So I'm going to do these today and I'm going to put... Before that, I'm going to put on an Olaplex hair mask because I haven't done a hair mask in ages. So I'm going to do that, and um, I'm going to pop some of my favourite bath stuff in. So I'm going to pop in some of my Laura Mercier body and bath in creme brulee. It's my favourite. I'll show you it. But yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to have a bath. Oh, I've got my lights on. <laughs> look at them on the stairs. I love them. Although they do make it look like a disco when it does that flashy setting. There we go, that's a bit more calm. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you till tomorrow. We've got a really early start, so I will catch up with you in the morning, probably in the car. And we're going to have a day of shooting. Oh, look who it is! How you been, Pop? She's been sleeping in the airing cupboard all evening, haven't you? You're feeling fresh. Don't you know that I just want to hear you sigh? Don't you know? Say morning. Hey. You gotta say it like that. Morning. No. Come on. I refuse. Come on, do it. Morning. Yes, yeah, she does it. We do it. We are currently on shoot, and we're actually in a little girl's room at the moment. <laughs> that just sounds creepy. <laughs> it's such a cool house, though. Look at this. We've got a massive cool, mirror over there with a bar what? because she does ballet. I feel like we should Why do some ballet ones? shots. Should we do some? Go on then. Ready? Get in the hammock. Okay. They've got a hammock too. It's getting attached to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Go on then. <laughs> anyway, we're currently having makeup and we're we're at a house in London to shoot today, which is a bit different, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, no one replied. <laughs> We don't Just like you. Hanging. But yeah, we're currently doing makeup. George, what we did today, Georgia? Talk us through it. What makeup? Yeah. We are doing the classic bronzy, glowy, natural situation. With lots of Charlotte Tilbs. With lots of Charlotte Tilbs. I love a bit of Charlotte. You, bit of you work for Charlotte Tilbury too, don't you? Yeah. Well, I freelance there. She's a freelancer in my fave makeup shop. I've literally been trying to get Bluebell's <laughs> attention on the dog camera <laughs> for the past hour. She came just before I started filming. It's not working. I pressed record and she ran out that door. I miss you, Bluey. <laughs> Come back. I've been trying to talk to her. I've thrown her treats and everything. Go on, Furbo. Yay, it flew out. <laughs> I think there was like three. I could see them. Come, Blue. Let me talk to her. Bluey, come get your treats. I got her. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been trying for so long. Let me talk to her. Bluey. Bluey. Can you, see, can you hear me? I was going to say, can you see me? <laughs> I can see you. Oh, hey, Bluey! <laughs> Bluey, don't run away. Hey, Val, do you want another treat? Oh, go on in. Oh, she's going. Oh! oh. <laughs> I miss you, Blue. So, we've just shot outfit number one. Um, oh, gosh, we've got the bar in the way. <laughs> I'll have to come down here. Um, so, we've got the new jeans with the rip, or the revamped jeans with the rip, because the rip is new. And then we've got this little jumper, which I absolutely love. I love this colour. I think it's so... I don't know, it's just really versatile. That's the word I wanted yesterday, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I've <laughs> I've <never laughs> <got the> <laughs> it's 
so this is outfit number six, seven. Got on this bodysuit, which I love. I think this is one of my favorites in this one. I love it. And I want to show you the back. Oh, I need to pull up my jeans. Look at that back. Look at it. I in, need to wear jeans. In the light. Come on oh, oh, oh. This house looks so nice in video. Have we got Christmas music on? Yay. Yeah. Right, we're stopping for a little sushi lunch break. So I've got some salmon in Philadelphia. And I think that's, is that an onion? I think so. And then this one is some <laughs> volcano <laughs> thing Niall ordered. No. They're both trying to work out who's got chicken <laughs> and who's got veggie dumplings because George is vegan. So Niall's be taste testing. <laughs> I don't know, I can't tell. I'm, I was... How can you not tell oh, who's got chicken? This is so confusing. But yeah, that's the current situation. And um, I currently have on this little top, which is a new cowl neck design. Well, not design, it's the same shape, but it's moved into the satin, which we didn't have last time, and in the new pink. What we're thinking. Listen to Freddie's voice. Go on, Fred. Give us a growl. He goes, no. Nah. <laughs> We got a fireplace going. We can't, we can't see the fireplace. Oh, can you not? <laughs> <laughs> I got so excited. I lit the fireplace. Look, it's so like pretty. I went, I'll take you into the bathroom. Look, I'm vlogging now. <laughs> oh, the lights have turned on. Fabulous. Holla. We've got a nice bath. It's fabulous. Okay, we're now on outfit, it must be 14. I'm gonna say 14. So we're doing this backless knit jumper, which I think is gold, I love this color. This was in the last collection, but um, we've got new colors and I've got this little headband with it, which has got stars on, which I love. I'm not being a very good vlogger today because it's stress. We had 28 pieces of clothing to get through. So we've still got quite a lot. We're against the time with the light outside, so stress but we've got a couple left we've got about we've got these three we've got this one and two pieces of knit we've got harry potter in the building how are you feeling <laughs> oh you look so cute like that <laughs> why don't you get some can i get some you wear them too high though you need to like put it a little bit more on your nose doesn't he <laughs> oh look at you you like it don't you he's feeling himself <laughs> i can't see anything <laughs> I know. That's true. Good evening, everybody. We're now home, and it's been a long old day, isn't it? Yeah. And Bluebell was very, very, very excited to see us. We've ever left Bluebell that long for a day. Although Niall's mum by herself. No, she wasn't. She was by herself till one from seven. Oh, she's just like my baby little child. I actually missed her so much, but yeah, we're now home. And it was a long old day. We didn't get through all of the outfits, but we got through lots. I did just get everything out of the suitcase and it's a big pile of duns. Duns, yeah, we definitely made some good progress today. I'm really sorry that I didn't show you many of the outfits on. That You're ruining my vibe. If she were here, she'd say Because, <laughs> look at my hair. Because I said that I was gonna show you more of the outfits on. But you have seen most of them on. It's just different prints and colors. So if there's anything else you want to see or know, let me know in the comments. And um, I'll do some more stuff on Instagram, and in the next vlog I will do some more too. Just and I'll look try on the website. I'll try and have a think. No, but everyone, the thing is, it's different with girls because you want to know the in depth, and you can't get that from a picture. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure that I show anything that I didn't, and that's new in the next vlog because that'll be up on Wednesday. Cheers, Cheers. to that. Cheers to a shoot of a day. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the range and let me know what you think you might grab because I actually can tell you early this time on the last launch it was all very last minute but let me know what you think you're going to grab because I would love to know and if you don't want to grab anything that's okay too. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, love you so much, we'll see you in the next vlog which actually for us is tomorrow. So, Can't have a wait. lovely, hope have you had a lovely, lovely weekend. Lovely this weekend. is really in time. Is it? We are Friday, they're watching Sunday. I'm in time for once. Sit down and watch David Attenborough tonight. We'll Go be watching then, with hun. you. And then but his if dark materials. In the, in, if you're not in the UK, you can't. Well, if you're not in the UK, why Illegally not? stream it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>